Coach Coyote's got your back over here on the sidelines, don't you know? Here on the Hazy Radio Network, helping your own little spring crick come into flow, eh? Baby's getting it that way. Whether you work at the car wash or own that mother truck or two, or whether you happen to own the live at the zoo down the street or whatever, baby, you're all pretty unique, and each has at least one or two gifts to share. Sometimes so many, you can't even count them. They're just there. So it gets a little wild when you're looking at what you want to do in this reality. Well, just go with the flow of your heart, you know. How I wound up in the radio biz in the first place, long time ago, before Hazy Radio Network was even invented, was, wow, I would just... Working the streets down there in Boulder, Colorado, man. What that means is I'm a gifted man. And I was very open at the time, just like I am now. And, uh, well, maybe even more so, maybe less so. Who can say? But all I know is I would give these people uh, a dose of their medicine. For free, of course, you know, and I just lived on donations, which, as I explained before, usually were kind of meager because I just, you know, I just am not that fascinated with money, and I didn't need that much right then to make me happy. Four years I spent just basically couch surfing one friend to another, you know, and uh, doing what I could to get by, you know, and just sharing. And just it was some of the happiest times of my life, just like right now is, you see. So whether I'm working at the car wash, shining up your old bumpers and making you feel happy about your little Ferrari, <laughs> or I'm down the street begging change on the corner, flying a sign, baby, uh, it's all the same to me. And I'm good with it wherever I may be in this reality, you see. And... This is the kind of state of being you get into when you start finding satisfaction within yourself. It kind of ends all the hungers inside, you know, when you do. And what I'm talking about is a moment where it just all comes clear, and it comes in stages and steps, too. So don't expect one great big whammo moment, though there might be that, too. You just never know. Spirit moves in its own way, this heart with which we play in this life, okay? It's just really unpredictable yet as solid and as steady as it can be. And we're just like riding its little roller coaster, don't you see? And it, it knows the way and it won't ever fail or jump the tracks or anything like that. It's right there solidly with us, no matter what position we hold in life. Now, like I said earlier, a lot of people feeling real restless these days. A lot have already quit their jobs and left the city. A lot more are about to. But that ain't necessarily what it's all about. It's all about finding your niche in life. Your birth, your B-E-R-T-H. The place where you really belong. And babies, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. When you find that insight, when you're satisfied, even though life's been, you know, hairy and, and quite contrary, and you've made a lot of mistakes, and other people have too, and you've been screwed every way but blue, and that's coming up next too. <laughs> Babies, you look at it now, and it's all okay. It got you to where you are today, whatever it was. And on that basis alone, it's acceptable. Doesn't mean you'd ever want to do it that way again. It's acceptable right now. Just time to move on. Time to let go of the sting in the heart that came from all the disappointments, you know. Well, that's what we get for holding expectation. If you hold a dream, a vision, it's different than an expectation. An expectation is a mental thought. A requirement, if you will, that you've kind of developed there in the back of your mind somewhere. It says, well, this, if I do this, then I'm going to get this, right? You know, that kind of expectation. But if you're living in it, what you feel is the deal. And what you feel is real. And you're far more satisfied with what you're doing. Far more. 
In fact, you're downright blessed by it, even if it's a job you totally and thoroughly hate. You won't be there much longer anyway, and guess what? You don't hate it in the outward way that most people do. You still smile. You're still genuine. You don't steal from others even when they're stealing from you. You don't seek vengeance on others. You're okay with the past. You let it go at last, you know. I've been screwed out of major money in my time, but I haven't been screwed out of anything. I saw it coming. I knew what could happen, but I wanted these people to have every opportunity to do it right by me before they did. You see, it's not like we ever get screwed uh, unknowingly. We do get screwed knowingly. You know, we see it coming. You got honest feelings inside, especially if you're trying to be genuine with people. You got honest feelings inside. You know that mother trucker's going to take you to the cleaners. But you want them not to, so bad. So you just keep going. You just keep giving them the love. And maybe you'll see a little miracle. And maybe this time, instead of stealing from you, they'll give you a bonus on top of everything else, okay? It's all in how we feel about life. That's what brings our experience to us. You know? And if you're like me, you're getting a little up there in years, you're getting a little tired of life, your body's going to reflect that. You see, and I'm not really tired of it at all. I'm totally satisfied, even right here, right now. You know, I deal with a certain amount of pain, day in, day out, my body's withering away. Babies, I'm happier than a peach ripening on a tree. I'm more happy than a kitty cat in a sandbox, man. I mean, you know, <laughs> I don't let anything keep me back, hold me back, you know, because... I'm satisfied with what's gone on here. Doesn't mean I'm real happy about it in certain situations. Doesn't matter. I'm happy about it anyway. I am where I am because of what I've done before now. And it's a beautiful place to be in. And I'm very satisfied with it. And I'll deal with whatever contingents and pains I have to in order to remain in this life, in order to remain your good little coach coyote here on the sideline, taking cues from my little dog and my mother Mary Jane, you know, who happens to be the source of the relief of all pain. So I suggest, you know, you indulge in her in one way or another, the sacred herb I'm talking about. Have a little toke today before you get that natural feeling underway. And then give yourself some time out there and get yourself collated and collected together. See what your heart is really demanding. And it is demanding now. That's the restless feeling. It's saying, no, 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 I can't do it this way anymore. I'm done, done, done. Got to do something else. This is not fun. You see, that's the, the, just like old Alan Watts said in the beginning, you know, find some way to get paid for having fun. And it's true. I enjoyed the dickens out of my truck, and even though it was the worst kind of slavery and required all kinds of times of you, it gave me the opportunity to travel and to experience and to grow in ways I couldn't if I hadn't have done that, you know. Of course, there's other ways of doing it. Could have been an airline pilot got paid a whole lot more, but then you got to take a whole lot of corporate BS. Yeah, trade-off's too big, man. I had that, you know, driving truck was simple. That That's in the background. And you can perform all kinds of services to humanity as a truck driver and get away with it. Because you're the truck driver. Nobody notices you, you know. Well, they used to notice me. But you know what I mean. Basically, <laughs> you're in a place where you can drop a little hint here and there, a little energy here and there, share a little life here and there, party down with complete strangers as if they're family and so forth. It's amazing what this life can bring you when you're just seeking to be genuine, let alone finding what it is to be genuine. Now, if my old heart stops today and my life goes away, guess what? I'm still right here and I'm broadcasting on a far wider platform than even the AZ Radio Network. <coughs> but babies, I'll be here one way or the other. I don't give up and I don't give in. And I don't back down. 
when it comes to matters of the heart, which is creative love in motion, babies, I'm there. And I'm here to share that day in and day out, Monday through Friday, here on the Hazy Radio Network for three beautiful hours, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. over there on the East Coast, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. here in the Mountain Time Zone, 7 to 10 over there in the Pacifica Gardens and all those kind of places, you know. Over in the U.K., I think it's around 3 p.m. It might vary a little bit right now because we're in this time change thing. But, babies, get up, get a time converter uh, there on the Internet. Enter 8 a.m. Mountain Time, and it'll tell you your local time as a result, okay? And then you'll know what time to tune in because you might be down in Australia. It might be 3 in the morning there. I think it is 3, 4 in the morning down there. Over in China, it's probably high noon. Over in uh, England, it's afternoon, so it can't be high noon in China. Maybe it's morning in China. You know, who knows? But babies, wherever you are, you can tune into this Hazy Radio Network. You can even get it on your cell phone. Download the Hazy Radio app. Maybe it's one push of one little button once you got it installed, that is. And bing, you're on, you know. That's the way to go if you can you know, but whatever you do, make sure you tune in here day after day, because we'll darn sure hold the, hold it steady for you, and keep this flow going, man, because you're important here, each and every one of us is, like I said earlier, in equity, every life has equal importance, and none is above another, none is below another, we all essentially live at the same level, believe it or not in the same conscious presence. So the separations, the degrees and levels we see in his life are just matters of understanding where you are on that, you know, framework of life that the heart has erected through us. You see, and once you find that place, baby, that's satisfaction like you've never known before. And I don't care if you go out and open up a little shoe shine stand and, uh, you know, just talk to passersby and get that little boots of polished up or whatever, man. That's a good service to humanity. And when you're there polishing boots, all kinds of opportunities will come your way. And all kinds of opportunities to help others open up, wouldn't you say, let alone yourself. You can learn a lot by doing simple, basic things like that. Some of my funnest years were some of the years I did taxi driving in a big city, man. You know, well, relatively big city. It wasn't big city eastern style, western style. But I had a great time with it. And in a little town of Boulder, too, which ain't so little no more. But I had a great time doing that, too. I did three years in that city and three years over, or four years over in Boulder, yeah. But that was some of the funnest times I ever had. You make connections with people like you would not, I mean, from the cross-section of humanity, like you would not any in any other profession, you see. Sometimes the simplest ways can be profitable enough that you can live on it and and enlightening enough that you'll stay with it forever. You know, and who? how many of you heard the stories about the shoe shine guys back in the day? Just put a little away every week. And one day, you know, they're buying the mansion down the street and taking out major interests in uh, craft food, stuff like that, you know. You just never know what's going to come your way. You just start out simply. Keep it small, you know, but don't, don't make yourself small to go along with it. Always be there. Always be genuine in whatever you're doing. It's real simple. And it's real sweet, too. And it's how we spread this sweetness throughout the life, okay? You become like sunlight. And people love seeing you, whether you're driving that taxi, driving that truck, shining them shoes, whatever it is you choose to do. It's a beautiful thing. Just be aware. Stay in the heart. Be conscious. Go the flow. Go with the flow of that. And it will never, ever mislead you, okay? So says Grandpa here on this thrilling Thursday with the aid of my little co-pilot, Okiwan Kenobi, and, of course, our always divine inspiration coming through Mary J. Babies, don't hold back nothing today, okay? Just be who you really are, and you'll be amazed how well it'll work out for you.
Oh, there ain't nothing like living in the wild, wild west. Because that's where, you know, we get down and do it the best, you know. If we're going to take out, we do it gentlemanly like, you know. We're not like criminals, man. We're just outlaws, that's all. That's the whole of the west, too, man. All of you city slickers moving back here from the east. You just came outlaws when you crossed over that continental divide or got yourself over here in the Mile High city or whatever baby you're uh, doomed and condemned forever now because well you're part of the wild wild west man and now you got to learn how to you know get all that crap off your chest and get back in your heart so you can live life like a living work of art and we don't have to pack six guns no more or worry about defending our women from the ulterior motives of some criminal uh hey yahoos you know what i mean jelly bean Time to settle down this wild, wild west. We can stay wild because we do it the best, whatever that is, you know. And that's the wildest, you know. If it ain't the wildest, it ain't the best, okay. You kind of catching on a little bit, John Gene? Yeah, I thought so, man. Those guys are in the jungle, you know. We're trying to bring them back out of the jungle a bit of a time here at Spring Creek to flow in love with the waters of life. Right from the heart of the hazy radio network, babies. Oh, we got it on early in the day. Jungle Jane and little Jungle John coming out to play. Where's my Tarzan yell when I need it, eh? Well, I ain't got one in me, but there's one here on the little recorded thing here, and I'll make a play someday. Oh, yeah. Well, just to remind them, it's, uh, you know, it's nice to live in the jungle, but there is a time when you come out of the jungle, and you head for the beach, and you know, you, you, you toke down a nice big old fat spliff, and you, you know, you, you commune with the nature, and and the trees, the birds, the bees, like you're doing all the time anyway, only this is a little more living it expansively because you become what you see. You are in it all, and you feel it. You feel the motion of the airplane across the sky. You feel the birdie as he fly. You feel the ground dog digging his hole. You, 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 you know, you live it all, heart and soul. Every little bit of it, every little aspect of it. And that is when you really begin to appreciate your life here. And what we got going already here in the third density. Though we curse it mightily when it's tough, man, and rough. But that's the wild, wild west is rock and roll. But baby, here we are at that place where we can live it all, don't you know? We have that capability. Well, hell, that's where we really are. And this third density we've been kind of like uh, isolated from a lot of ourselves our perspective ain't always given correctly they're a bit warped here upside down and backwards i'd say that's the way i look at it even in the wild wild west as perfect as it could be man <laughs> oh man now the whole east is going to try to move west bring all that bitterness with them and all that skullduggery too you know we don't need all that. Leave that back there. Bring your good heart when you come out here, okay, man? And we'll help you get it clear, whatever's left of us, dear, because, you know, Wild West is a little wearing on you, man. It's got harsh weather and animals that aren't always friendly and, you know, cattle that chase around, things like that. It's, you know, you gotta, you got to be up to snuff, man, to do it here. But it does... Wear you down after a while, you know, doggone it. You know, there is a end of the line, the end of the trail, but guess what? <laughs> that's the illusion, man. Of course, God, I mean, that's just the beginning, man. That's a birth into another world, man. Shit, it's like you got birthed into this one and not quite the same. Cause that one is where you come from in the first place. That's your real place, see? And the fact that we feel separated and isolated from it when we get birthed into this third density, well, you know, some babies are being born now, bringing that right in with them, see. Some of us brought it in before, but there's coming more and more and more. And babies, pretty soon, these worlds will be united. Are you understanding that? You see why I can see an end to the evil skullduggery here then? Well, I don't believe in 
you know, uh, the jolly old Santa Claus with nuclear weapons in his, in his sleigh and stuff like that. No way, man, you know. It ain't happening that way. Instead of going down, this time we're coming around. Because we've learned our lessons mightily way before this. You know, we're just children in training for heck's sake. That's why I call us babies, man. We're all in the grade school of life. And here's the kind of love that allows us to do that. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that's a good sip of coffee there, let me tell you. Mountain spring water combined with beans, organic Cherish loving beans and fair traded, of course, but hand picked by mighty little angels, you know, and roasted. Just ah, oh, man, I tell you, I just it's hard. I mean, you know, talk about an experience, and that's just one simple little thing. Probably don't mean much to you, but I'm sitting here right now just glowing with the love that's in my little cup of coffee. <laughs> and let that just flow out to be the rest of the love that surrounds me, see? Because that's where we be. We're in all of it. I know it's a little hard to understand when you've been so isolated from it, man, and you've only had to look out for yourself and, you know, defend your own turf, whatever, you know. It's difficult here until you start to realize how we really all flow together. That this life is, despite its outward chaos, there is the threat of harmony within it, all of it. In other words, we're moving synchronistically and we're all moving as a collective in the same direction and as persons too. That's the power of love, the flow of love that keeps us on the path no matter what else we do. We learn our lessons along the way, sometimes quite difficultly. But we're equipped for it, baby, you know. I mean, you might be the softest-hearted lover there could ever be. And when you fall in love, you fall in love completely. And you latch on to that person and, you know, blah, blah, blah. It just never goes away, right? <laughs> oh, it does, doesn't it? Darn it. But there is a way. Another way, you know, of living in this love so powerfully. You know, so even you are such a soft-hearted little bohemian and you just latch on to him and go with him, you know. Uh, you learn. You grow. You redirect that flow, you see. You start to realize you're as in love with the little cricket crawling on the ground as you are with that person you just found that you think is so profound. You know what I mean? You start to see a love that goes beyond, like, this personal realm. And it becomes real personal because it's your person in everything. I mean, you, you live it. You love it. You are it. That's, that, that's our natural state of being. Each and every one of us as a child of the universe. And we don't have to sit around and wait for it to happen and wait for the evil to play out their hand and... All of this happy, hairy nonsense. We don't have to go through another Armageddon and then another and another. I mean, how many times do we have to prove to ourselves that we'll come back from anything and we don't ever give up? We're tenacious little boogers, us human beings, man. And you, you, you just can't keep us down. Our heart is that profoundly and insanely uh, motivated to live a life. No matter what it might be. And you know, knowing the outcome, it goes through a lot of tragedy. Because it knows there's harmony even in such things as that. And in the ability to live through the tragedy is the triumph. That's what I'm talking about. That's the durability of the human heart that can go to such dark, ugly places and come out of it ultimately with a smile on their faces and live with themselves again and go on from there. Maybe you're one of those lovers that lost a lover like that. Being one moment they're here, one moment they're not. You know, it can be pretty sudden and that can be pretty tragic. In that moment, you feel that loss, that separation. And in that separation, you keep pushing them away as they're trying to come back in on you and tell you they're okay. 
And finally you surrender, finally you let them come and have their say. And you realize that life goes on forever, no matter what form it happens to be in or what dimension you see. And to tell you the truth, as you stretch out into all this living life here in the 3D, like the blossom and flower that you are, well, you blossom right into all those other realities that we're made of, you know. It's not just one simple little square box here in the 3D, you know, serene, baby. <laughs> it's everything that surrounds us beyond the dimensional realities and the parallels and so forth. It, down the rabbit hole, heck no, man. It's like, you know, it, it's the, the whole of everything. It's a life lived in uniform harmony with all you know and is the one life in everything in each one of us it's just such a beautiful thing such a great way to go and so far far beyond the love we used to know really yeah well we've always carried it we've always known it somewhere in the back of our mind there it's always been there you know because it's in the heart it's our reality it's our truth it's how we're living. It's how we're loving. And that's why we're rocking and rolling from this little sound booth here at 9,000 feet high in the Rocky Mountain sky. Yeah, right through the heart of this guy, Mr. Grandpa Coyote, and friends and associates of Mary J and little Oki Wan Kenobi to help us along the way. Nothing like having Dog as your co-pilot in this upside down and backwards world, eh? Yeah. Interesting flow today on this free day Friday. Are you ready? baby to let yourself flow into it glow into it and be what you are are you a stubborn little coot that wants to have your